Before beginning our review of this lesson, I first want to review a couple of math vocabulary terms. Let's get comfortable using the words dividend and divisor. We're going to take a look at a problem and show it in the three different ways that we now know how to show division. We can show 50 divided by 5 as it's currently written. We can show it as long division and we can show it as a fraction. We know that all three of these symbols mean divided by. Let's first identify the dividend, which is the number being divided. 50 is our dividend. When writing division as a fraction, the dividend is the numerator. The divisor is the number by which another number is being divided. Five is the divisor in this problem. When writing division as a fraction, the divisor is the denominator. Today in class, we went over four problems and determined a rule for dividing a number by 0 0.1 and 0 0.01. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on dividing a decimal by 0 0.1. Let's review what we discussed. We can write 50 divided by 0 0.1 as a fraction since the fraction line means divided by. This is another way to show division. But before we can solve, we need to fix something. There's a problem. We have a decimal as the divisor, which when written as a fraction is our denominator. We need to make our denominator a whole number. We know that 0 0.1 times 10 equals 1. So we want to multiply 0 0.1 by 10 in order to make a whole number. We want that, de that denominator or that divisor to be a whole number. So we will multiply it by 10. We know that when we multiply a denominator by 10, we must also multiply our numerator by 10 to create an equivalent fraction. By doing so, we will not be changing the value. So we're going to multiply our numerator and our denominator by 10 to create an equivalent fraction and to get rid of the decimal in the denominator. Now I can solve. And my answer is 500. So 50 divided by 0 0.1 equals 500. Now let's take a look at the following three problems and I will solve them in the same way. Once again, I'm going to rewrite 5 divided by 0 0.1 is a fraction. I again have a decimal in the denominator's place. I do not want a decimal there. I need that to be a whole number. In order to make it whole, I can multiply by 10. So I'm going to multiply my numerator and denominator by 10, and then I solve the problem out. My answer is 50. Now I have my first problem that is a decimal divided by a decimal. I'm once again going to do the same thing where I rewrite the problem as a fraction. By rewriting as a fra it as a fraction, I can see that I have a decimal in my denominator. That is my divisor, remember. I cannot have a decimal in my divisor. I want it to be a whole number in order to solve. So I'm going to make an equivalent fraction, which means I am not changing the value of the problem at all. I'm multiplying my numerator and my denominator by 10. And then I solve it out, and my answer for 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.1 is 5. And I'm going to do the same thing to solve the last problem here. I'm rewriting it as a fraction. I'm multiplying it by 10 to make the denominator a whole number. And I am solving. And my answer is 0 0.5. So 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.1 is 0 0.5. Let's take a look at the four problems we just solved. Today we noticed a pattern between the dividends and the quotients when we divided by 0 0.1. We noticed that each time we divided by 0 0.1, the decimal point moves one place to the right. So in the case of 50 divided by 0 0.1, I had to move my decimal place one place to the right. So my decimal is here. One place to the right means I have to add in a zero. My answer was 500. If I take a look at the next one, 
I had to do the same thing. I started with five, I had to move it one place to the right, and I ended up with 50. And so on. If I continue on with 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.1, one decimal place to the right gives me five. So we notice this pattern, and it's consistent. So since it's a consistent pattern that is always true, we were able to develop a rule. In class, we found that division of a number or decimal by 0 0.1 is actually the movement of one decimal place to the right of the dividend.